Hi Union Pleasant, this, this video is for third graders uh, playing recorder uh, and what we're going to do today is we're going to uh, start in on the process of teaching you how to write your own song and there'll be a special belt, a rainbow belt for that. Uh, but today we're just running the process of writing some little short melodies that will eventually turn into a longer song. So you're going to need a couple things um, to be able to do this. You're going to need a blank white sheet of paper. You're going to need some bottle caps. Um, buttons would also work. Or if you don't have anything like that, you can cut out little circles of different colored paper, whatever you want. I have a couple different colors of bottle caps here. You're going to need six of those. Um, and then I'm using screws for this, which are like a, just a drywall screw. But you could also use toothpicks or, again, cut out little little black pieces of paper, long and thin. I guess this is going to be the, the stems of our, of our notes, and we're going to be building some melodies as we go. You're also going to need a marker. Uh, and a ruler or a straight edge um, and I'm using a pen just to make little marks on my paper uh, and obviously your recorder so let's get started I'm going to tilt the camera down so that you can see my paper so if you want to go off and get all those materials um, and then uh, and then meet me back here so we'll get started all right, I'm just going to tilt the camera down so that you can see my paper and the first thing that I'm going to do is I want to get the spacing of all my lines. So I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up. Uh, so all I want to do is I want to start a little bit away from the bottom. I want to have at least one caps work because if we have a note down there, that's going to be okay. So I just want to start up in here somewhere. And I'm going to put a little mark on the bottom of the cap and a mark on the other side. And then just work my way up, keeping that line right below it and then putting another line on the other side of the cap. How many of these am I going to need? I'm going to need five because we have five lines for our staff. Now, in order to be able to, I only mark them out on this side, but what I want to do is I want to draw my bottom line. Again, you could do this with a marker or a crayon, but you want something nice and dark. So I'm going to just draw a line along the bottom of my paper. That's why I'm using this straight edge. Oops. <laughs> I had to put the, the bottle cap on my marker. <laughs> That's why it won't work. Uh, and then I want to go to the other side over here and make my other four little marks going up so that I get all my lines nice and straight. How many lines did I need again? Five, right? I have one there. And I'm going to need four more. So I'll line up my ruler. Right along there. And all I'm doing is putting a straight edge along here so that I end up with five nice even lines. And we want them to be nice far nice and far apart like this. Exactly the width of those bottle caps so that we can use the bottle caps as notes. So we're done with our straight edge, we're done with our marker. Now we're going to use our our our, uh, our bottle caps to represent the different notes. So what that what would that note be right there? It looks like it's on the second line, right? That's going to be our G, and then this will be our A, and then this will be our B, like that. You can see how those work. And then we could use our E down here, and our low D down below the staff, right? Ooh, the white ones are kind of hard to see. Sorry about that. Um, but that's going to be our, our our main notes. Some of you might know this C and this D up here, and you would be able to use those notes just as well as all the rest of them. So, uh, so what we'll do next is we're going to just lay them out in any order that we want using whichever uh, whichever of the notes that we want to use for our melody. I think I'll just start with something really, really simple. G, G, A, A, E, E. But you can see that if I take my screws now and I make the little lines for each one of the notes, that I'm going to end up with too many notes, right? Because if I was reading my rhythm, if I put them all like this, and I just give a stem for each one of the notes like this, I end up with too many notes in my measure. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, and I can't have six notes in a measure. Usually we have four beats in a measure, um, and so we want to make sure we have four beats in these measures too. So the only thing I can think to do is I can take another one of these screws and I can put it across the top here. Now I end up with one and two, three, four, five. Hmm. Still not there. I'm going to need another screw. Maybe I'll put it across these two down here. And then I'll end up with one and two, three, four and. Ooh, then I ended up with four beats the way I should have ended up with. Now let's, if we, now once we have it so that it's four beats, really you're going to almost always need six, uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws in order to be able to make our different notes. And so what we'll do is we're going to try to play this. We're going to try to read the rhythm, read the notes just like we normally would, and then practice it with our fingerings, and then give it a try to play it. So I'm going to tilt me up just a little bit here so you can see my hands. So let's read our rhythm. One and two, three, four and. Let's do it again. One and two, three, four and. Let's try to read the notes now. G, G, A, A, E, E. Try it again. G, G, A, A, E, E. Now I'll grab my recorder and I'll be ready to, to do the fingerings as I say those. Ready? G, G, A, A, E, E. Let's try that again. G, G, A, A, E, E. Now I can go ahead and play it. Try to play it with me. Ready? Go. Let's see if we can play it again. Ready? Like it very much. It doesn't sound that interesting to me. Um, so let's play around with them a little bit and we'll see if we can come up with something better than this. Hmm. Let's start with B A B A and then G and then we'll do a D down here. So maybe we'll just keep it simple and just do a G G like that. All right, so my notes are going to be. Well, let's read our rhythm first. Oh, we can't read our rhythm because we don't have any stems, right? So let me make these first two a one and. Then I'll uh, do the next two. I think I'll make those another one and, or sorry, two and this time. And then what do I have left? Three, four, right? So let's read our rhythm. One and two and three four. One and two and three, four. Let's read our notes now. B, A, B, A, G, G. B, A, B, A, G, G. Ooh, now I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to like this one. I'm going to get my recorder and try to practice saying the notes while we think, while we do the fingerings. Ready? B, A, B, A, G, G. B, A, B, A, G, G. Oh, I think I'm ready to play it. sound of this one much better so you know what I could do I could take a picture of this one if you have any kind of camera around the house or if your parents can help you out and do a little phone picture here so any of the rhythm any of the melodies that you like you're going to want to take a picture of so that you can use them later in a bigger longer piece of music that you write to yourself so I'll just go and take my picture of that but if you don't like it, don't keep it around. Change it around until you do like it. So let's try a couple more. So, uh, hmm. Hmm. Ooh. I think I'm going to keep the same rhythm. So I'm going to try to keep all these things right where they were. A little tricky to. There we go. So I kept that same rhythm. All right. So now I started on a low E down here, kind of building up through my middle notes and then jump way down to a low D there. So let's see if we can see the rhythm, do the rhythm again. Ready? One and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. Hmm. Okay, let's say the notes now. E, E, G, A, B, D. E, E, G, A, B, D. E, E, G, A, B, D. Hmm. Okay, now, now my recorder, right? Gotta start down on my low E here. 
E E G A B D E E G A B D E E G A B D. I think I'm ready to try it. Ready? Ready? Go. Some of them end up sounding something like something you really like the sound of, and then sometimes you rearrange them and you're like, ooh, I didn't like that so much. So keep that in mind as you're going, is writing music is all about your preference. When you come up with something you like, you don't have to explain why you like it, you just like it. All right? It's the same reason why you have a favorite color or a favorite number. You don't have to explain it to anybody, you just say, that's my favorite. All right? So these melodies are a lot the same. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to come up with a few of your own. Uh, come up with, uh, I don't know, I bet if you have five really good melodies that you like, you have them saved on, on as a picture somewhere, then later on we're going to use all these great melodies to put together a larger piece. So I'll maybe do one more for you. Get rid of all these rhythms and come up with a different rhythm for the next one. Um, start with the G, Ooh, maybe I'll start with a high D. You know what? I'm not going to use all of my bottle caps this time. I don't have to use all my bottle caps. Maybe I could just use that. Hmm. But now i got to be really careful with my rhythm, right? So I don't have to use all my bottle caps, but I do have to be careful with my rhythms. Maybe I'll go one, two... Three and, and so I got in order for it to be three and I have to put one of those across the top and then four right over there. Ooh, I like this one. Yep, one, two, three and four. One, two, three and four. One, two, three and four. Let's read our notes now. Ready? Oop, I think this one could be a little bit lower just so that you can tell it's an A. Ready? D B A G E D B a G E D B A G E. Ooh, that's, that's looking pretty good. All right. All right, so let's give it a try. D B A G E D B A G E D B A G E. Let's give this a try too. Ready? Here we go. I really like this one, so I'm going to get a picture of this one, too. All right. And then save all those pictures, and we'll be able to use those at a later date for writing a bigger, longer song. Fantastic. Good job, everybody. We'll see you next week.